Hi, this is Coach Sai from the SciFitMuscleBuilding.com team and I'm here today to give you five tips on how you can turn a five minute muscle building dream into an achievable goal. And yes, it can be done. So let's get on with tip number one. And tip number one has to be all about nutrition. Because after all, nutrition is 80% of the whole muscle building process. I mean, if you haven't gotten your nutrition intact, your gym work will suffer, your intensity levels will just wane, your, re your recovery will be like long and slow, and you'll end up losing the passion for muscle building, and that all becomes a waste of your gym membership. So remember, nutrition is probably the most fundamental part and the biggest section that you should pay attention to. Get that right and the rest will soon follow. Tip number two, and this is a tip mainly for the beginners. When you walk into the gym next, I kind of want you to forget all about the hammer strength equipment if you can and all the bells and whistles on the other machines that the, the trainers tell you to use. I want you to concentrate on the bread and butter movements, the compound movements, the movements that get your muscle building going in the right direction. And they're exercises like your bench press, your incline bench press, your shoulder press, your barbell shrugs, your bent over rows, your squats, your deadlifts, your barbell curls, your close grip bench pressing. These are fundamental exercises that you need to learn how to do. I mean, you get those right and you master those those exercises, you can start incorporating isolated movements and using the other machines. But ask me if I had a choice of using those exercises or machines, I would sooner plump for those exercises because it's those exercises that get the muscles ready to grow. So tip number three, while we're talking about compound movements, Never ever sacrifice form for using more weight. I mean, it's funny really, you go into the gym and you see so many peacocks, you know, feathers raised high, egos out here, wanting to use as much weight as they can. And sometimes it's really hard to work out what body part they're working. But most importantly, the thing that concerns me the most is that you're putting yourself at risk of injury, you know, a long layoff. Those are the sort of things that should keep your mind on the game, keep your mind on good form. Because when you use good form, along with your nutrition, the weights will soon start to go up and up. So remember that tip. Tip number four, tip number four. Muscle building is a 24 hour sport. You know, unlike all the other sports that I can think of, it's probably the only 24 hour, 365 day a year sport. It's one of those sports that you have to pay close attention to your nutrition, never miss a meal, never miss a workout, and more importantly, get your rest. These are the three phases that you need to have in place to make sure that your muscle building dream doesn't just stay a dream. And finally, the last tip is about post-workout nutrition. How important is it? Well, for me, I would say it's like the final rep. It's probably more important than the final rep because you don't grow until you finish training. You know, you don't grow when you're in the gym. No, that just breaks down the muscle. When you finish training, your focus should be on getting that nutrients inside your body and starting up your muscle building process. And that's when it starts. It starts after your last rep. So carry yourself a shaker, two scoops of whey protein, get yourself a Lucozaid or a Gatorade if you're in the USA and mix those together. Get those nutritions in with the BCCAs and the L-glutamine and a little bit of creatine. Those are the bits that get your muscles starting to grow and repair themselves. Anyway, I've just got one bonus tip for you before I go, and that is, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Just pray to God it's not a train. So to the next time, 
Stay strong, train hard. Bye-bye.